What's up, YouTube? It's the dawn where shit gets real. And today I'm going to keep it real with you guys. This is not a review. This is just like, you know, I'm going to show you the ins and outs. I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of this Goliath 2. Okay, if this thing will focus. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little focus. There we go. Goliath 2. All right, <clears throat> so I'm not even going to beat around the bush. We're just going to die right up close right now. All right, guys, here's the Goliath V2. Here's the box that it came in. Try to do this quick and dirty because I didn't, did this like three times and my phone kept ringing. So <clears throat> here's the box. And I'm not sure if this is going to be the final production box, um, but I do know my go Goblin Mini came in a box like so. Okay, so when you open it up, you get this little instruction pamphlet. It tells you um, how to open it, how to fill it, the parts, how to close off to make it single coil. Um, has a little silicone, um, silicon uh, plug, and it goes on to tell you the juice capacity. Blah 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 blah. It has ceramic uh, on the OCC uh, pre-built coil heads. Uh, never mind that noise in the background. Ah work for a living and I'm scanning a contract okay so bam here we go so in the package you get of course you get the the guy Goliath you get two um, pre-built coils you get spare glass you get different color o-rings and you get a plug to make it uh, a single coil okay so <clears throat> I took apart one of the coil heads so let's just start with that one okay so here it is this is all taken apart, and some of you guys that like to build your own coils, you will like this, okay? Because it seems like it's very easy to rebuild, even I can do it, okay? If I can do it, you know, you, you techie guys, you guys can do it. So let me just pull it apart, but it's your typical, um, your coil, you know, pre-made coil. This rubber garment comes off, of course, this is your airflow, it comes up through there. Um, and here's a little ceramic cup that it all fits in. Um, now let me grab one of these coils. I shouldn't do this first because I'm going to get all greasy. But the coil, you know, it fits down in there. Negative, positive. Of course it's two. And then the wick goes down through this little section like so. And it stops right there. And then when it's in here, okay, if I can get it back in there. When it's in there, it just stops at the metal. Okay, so this is just a quick and dirty, but you guys get the idea. It's super, super easy. Your leads fit out there. Of course, when you do your leads, it's one's going to be in and one's going to be touching the outer part of the burrow. Okay, um, but only do this if you're a little experienced and if you've done these before. Now, this one does give you a little bit more room. Now, I will say this the material that's, that they're using for cotton, it's really dense. Um, it reminds me of. Uh, what's that stuff? Native wicking. Every month, and it's in there pretty tight. So what I'm gonna do later? I'm gonna pull this out, dry fry these coils, and rewick it. Okay, because these are all gunked up. Okay, I put some in that and donut on it, and it kind of killed them. Okay, <clears throat> so that's enough with that pre-made. I mean that coil that I took apart. Now let me show you how they come brand new. Okay, so here they come brand new. As you can see, like I was saying, the cotton. The cotton stops right here at this lip and of course your juice channel is here um, I haven't had any problems with dry hits with these okay that's the bottom and you can see the one lead there and the other lead I believe is right there okay it is dual coil and right here you can see how much air is coming up the middle okay so the so the cotton is not blocking or restricting that airflow at all okay so let's go to the start of the show okay so here's the here's the actual Goliath two. And as you can see, it's all streamlined, not like the one previous where it had this gnarling on it where you can grip it 
to control the juice flow control okay now that is slightly a con on this one because it's all so smooth it's very hard especially if your hands got a little bit of juice on it it's very hard to adjust okay because it's sliding around now I can adjust it now just like so and the airflow is the same way okay so put something in there because it's so slippery that's how you control the airflow it has a little knob on there to stop it from spinning all the way around and it doesn't come off like your traditional UD uh, products okay so it stays on there this time and it's you know this part right here it's almost it looks almost seamless when it's on there it's very cool looking but you know when you're adjusting or when you're pulling it apart you'll see when you get it if they keep it like this but I, I would suggest to them to put some type of you know rough it up a little bit or put some gnarling somewhere to make it <clears throat> more easier to twist and turn okay when it's on a mod because when it's on a mod it's very difficult to control this airflow even though I just rock mine while all the way open all the time 100% now here's the bottom it does have a little bit of branding on it and it looks like it just has UD in 2015 okay so I got no special server numbers um, and as you can see in that drip tip it does have that rifle look spiral whatever you want to call it but the spiraling runs all the way down the chimney I'll show you guys that when I open it up all right so right now I have it set up on single coil mode I'm sorry single coil mode and I have that plug in it okay so I'm gonna show you guys that plug right now okay so let me twist this on and I'll do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison to the uh, the original one okay so bam right there is the plug and as you can see it goes down and it, it, it you know goes into the airflow hole the little rubber garments go down and close off the juice channels so I have used it in single coil and it did work okay I didn't get any leaking didn't get any flooding no gurgling okay this coil is a little whack right now but <clears throat> let me try to fix this pull the cotton out and kind of pick it up but I will say that these this this new deck will accept let's see if you guys can see that 3.5 millimeters okay with no problem now this is 23 gauge so I'm sure if you put like 22 gauge it might be pushing it but you might can get it in there you might can get it I'm not the greatest builder um, especially in tight spots but if I can get a 3.5 mil in there um, you can you can do your thing okay so let me pull this out I just wanted to show you that you can't the deck is bigger than before so let me show you the guys the old deck side by side okay so let me pull this out so you guys can see it here from okay so you can see it's a bigger uh, airflow bigger air hole okay so on this one I have a three mil diameter fuse with hand man okay this one I have a three mil sorry this one I have a three mil uh, diameter uh, coil in there and that's the biggest that I can go it's the same gauge wires as 23 gauge but that's the biggest I can go and of course it does fit on without you know touching or scraping it okay so I just want I just threw that one coil in there to show you now on the new one you can it just close off beat up but <clears throat> 3.5 okay so it is a bigger deck um, bigger airflow hole much bigger okay the post holes they look to me about the same you can still trap whatever you want to get in there I'm assuming it, you're not going to be able to do <laughs> you can trap some good size wire in there let's just leave it at that okay so the new one does have an o-ring on this outside this one had no o-ring down here it kind of screwed on to this part and that was it um, but there, there's no o-ring on the old one there is an a o-ring on this new one okay it's a black o-ring right there as you can see now now that I showed you that and I'm going to show you this okay so if you don't want to build your own coils you want to buy them 
you just spin that part up. Okay, so this part is removable. There's your airflow. Kind of reminds you of the Zephyrus. Okay, so in your coil, we just spin in your pre made coil, which is spinning like so. And now let me say this too. This is kind of, you know how <clears throat> when you spin this on, these juice channels always land right here. Always, right there where your cotton is. I sit there and twist it on, twist it off to see where it would land. It always lands in front of this channel, which is a good thing. So that's why I probably have no issues with dry hands. None. None whatsoever. It wicks just fine, just fine. Okay, it wicks just fine with the with with these on with this on it, and it wicks just fine with this on it. Okay, so let me take this off and throw this back on. Okay, okay. so this is gonna be hard. Let me put this on. Airflow. It, like I said, it has a little pin to stop it. If I can turn it, it has a little pin to stop it. But like I was saying, with this thing all tightened up, it's really hard to to grip anything. It's really hard. Okay. Now this is hard when it's on your on your Mac. Let me put it on something. On your mod, it's really hard to get down there and. And turn that because there's nothing to grip on but I can turn it but it's it, it's a little challenge but like I said I always leave my wide open so let me take this part off and show you this okay, so this is very similar to the old one very similar they both have Thread, threading. This is the old one. Has threading right here to catch onto the base, and this one has threading as well. Okay, so as you can see, the new one it has like a reduced, more of a reduced chamber than the old one. The old one just kind of went up and stopped. It's like blocked off. This has more of a reduced chamber. Now you can see that rifling. See that rifling? It goes all the way up to the drip tip. Rifling all the way up. See those grooves in the chimney. Okay, so this right here, the same principle as the old one. You spin it to open it, close, and it goes up with these lifelines. You know, like when you're in the hospital. Okay, so let me pull this apart. Now the chimney is only one section, unlike before where it was two sections, but it's the same principle as the old one. Okay, there it is, chimney. Slide it out like so. It's a little flat spot there and a flat spot there. Okay, so that's what stops it from turning when you slide it in there. Okay, now this piece it is two pieces just like the old one, it has a little ring, I mean, it has a little notch, uh, it has this little notch right here or groove, and that's the notch right there that fits into that groove. Just slide it back and forth nice and smooth okay but like I said it's just nothing really to grip it okay so <clears throat> this glass piece is held on by an o-ring that you can change the colors of the o-ring they have red blue and clear similar to the Zephyrus and you can see that that drip tip with that groove in it okay so let me slide this back on it's held on like so put this back together So to fill it, what you would do is you would spin it till it's open, like so, and proceed to fill one side, okay, and the air would escape from this side, okay. So, uh, filling it, um, my best, you know, those really pointy bottles are the best ones to use, or syringe, syringe is best, then the pointy bottles, the droppers, you kind of spill stuff everywhere, okay, so it's not that big of an opening but it does hold five minutes, so you're not doing it every five minutes. <clears throat> now, like I said, this one, this 
is much more thinner the material it's they just use thinner material I mean it's not as thick metal so what they did is they got rid of this heat, heat sink and gave you more juice capacity but it's very very similar the heat sink the old one is a tad bit taller but yet you get more juice capacity and the chimney I guess is not as wide okay which makes it better flavor but they did get rid of this heat heat sink to give you more juice capacity right. so I showed you <clears throat> just about everything that I wanted to show you on this bad boy this is the old one because the new ones on the market but yes for those of you that you want the need to know the deck is, I would say, maybe a mil maybe, I, I'm, it's hard to say. It is bigger than the old one, okay? The, the airflow is bigger, and it looks like the uh, juice channels is a tad bit bigger as well, okay? But I've had no problems on the new one. Um, I like it that I can fit a bigger coil in there. I don't usually do the 3.5. I just use three. But with the other one, with the old one, I would only use 2.5. I like fatter coils. That's just me. Okay. There's the difference in the bottom. Now the old one did have an adjustable uh, 510, but the new one does not. Okay. <clears throat> and the airflow is much bigger on the new one. Let me open this up. It's much bigger on the new one than the old one, but that, that's all dependent on how much air is going to go up to your chimney, to your coils, okay? But the new one is a little bit more area than this one, okay? <clears throat> so you, you guys will definitely have fun with this, with this new one, definitely, okay? So that's about it. Let me go back up top. Bam. I know it's something else I'm forgetting. It came with an extra piece, an extra glass. It comes with extra um, grub screws to trap your canthal, um, extra O-rings, extra glass, um, and there's some O-rings down in there as well. Okay, that's about it. So let's wrap this up. Go back up top. So I just showed you guys this. Uh, Goliath 2. Now, my unit does say sample on the bottom, um, so it is a sample unit, so I'm not sure if they're going to change anything on it, but <clears throat> I will say this. I do like the streamlined design. Um, it, 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 it's nice to look at, but functionality of it, um, you know, adjusting it sometimes can be a little tricky, um, but I will say this. When I I always leave my juice flow control all the way open and I always leave my airflow all the way open um, or you know I leave it at one spot and don't really mess with it every other hit some of you guys want to tighten it up every other hit every five hits change me I just leave it where it's at so for me it's not that big of a con but for some of you guys I can see some of you guys you know having trouble especially you guys that don't always use max VG juice <clears throat> most of the time 99.9% .9 of my juices are max VG. It's either 80% or higher of VG. Um, the, the actual spiral design, I'm not sure if that's... Let me see. Uh, I guess it was spinning. Yeah, it's spinning. I can see little swirls. You know, but it, I don't know if it's really affecting the flavor that much. Um... It's, it's nice. I haven't had any leaking. I haven't had any, uh, you know, dry hits, whether I'm building my coils. When you, but when you build your coils, that's all up to you, you know, um, as far as leaking, wicking, and all that good stuff. That's all into your skill set. But for me, it, it, it's, it's been working like a charm thus far. Thus far, I haven't had any problems. Um, yeah, the, the only thing is just no grip. No grip. <clears throat> and sometimes, sometimes when you're spinning this thing down and you're backing it up, it, sometimes it'll spin out either the pre-made coils or it'll uh, spin out, 
you know, the the deck where you build your own course. Sometimes it'll spin out, it'll catch it a little crooked. But, you know, just make sure your deck, whatever deck you're using, whether it be the pre-made coils or the ones where you make your own course, make sure it's screwed down really tight. That way you won't have that problem. <clears throat> now, they also sent me this uh, Goblin Mini. And to be honest with you, I've been using this thing to death. I've been really, really enjoying the flavor out of it. You know, even though it's a mini, the deck is really not that much smaller. I don't. I think it's around the same size as the other one. I, I don't know. Um, it, it's easy to build on, and it, it, it just works. Um, the flavor is outstanding. Let me take a toe. The flavor I'm getting out of it is, is really outstanding. And again, this has adjustable airflow, but I never mess with it. You know, I leave it wide open and I'm done. Um, it is a little easy to adjust, you know, especially if you got a fingernail. But if you don't have a fingernail, you have to stick something in there to, to adjust that airflow. Like I showed you the other day, if that would focus and it's not up there, it is. Let me see if I can get this while that's focused. Just show you where that one says sample. And it won't focus. But anyway, it was not working for me today. My focus, maybe it's that black, <clears throat> but this one does say sample on it. So, um, like I said, these came straight from UD. Thank you, UD, for sending these to me um, for review. I did send you guys an email and tell you guys my thoughts on it. And that's about it. So, I guess until the the, the final production version comes out. This is what we got. Hopefully it'll be very similar to this because this is really good. I really, really enjoy these pre-made coils. I, I enjoy these pre-made coils more than the Zephyrus. Um, something about these, these are just better, in my opinion. Um, and plus you can, it, it looks like it's much more easier to rebuild on. So... <clears throat> I can't recommend it because I don't know if this is the, the final version. So that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Give you guys like a quick look, first look, whatever. Not a review. Yeah, I just wanted to show it to you guys. All right. So let me wrap this up. Let me take a total off this uh this mini. This mini is flavors. Great. I reached up and hit the stop button by mistake. So anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you know somebody that's on the stinkies, you see them more than once or twice a week, and they've expressed to you, hey, I'm, I'm trying to stop smoking. You got some old equipment, um, some higher nick juice, let them borrow your higher nick juice. Let them borrow some of your old equipment. Tighten up their airflow. Explain the battery safety. You know, show them how to work it. Tell them to check back with you in a week. And then if a week they like it, explain to them where they can get their own, okay? Try to get them a 20, 30 watt device, something that they can grow on to. Ah, that was a lot. <clears throat> so... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And if you can, pay it forward. Peace.